guys, my name is Mika, and today I just wanted to show you a little project I made a couple years ago. So as some of you may know, I have some crafty DIYs on my channel, but unfortunately back then, I didn't really make videos, so I don't have an actual like video tutorial to show you, but I want to show you how I made this awesome Argonian head. I have pictures that I can show you. So this is a head of dry scales, my Skyrim Argonian character. She also kind of looks like my ESO character. She also has a bottom piece for her mouth. So here's her mouth. Unfortunately, it doesn't really fit perfectly anymore, but it would basically go on like this. And if you wear this and if it's on correctly, even though the mouth doesn't really fit anymore perfectly as you can see, but basically it was meant to be able to talk with. So you could, you know, talk like this. <laughs> Unfortunately, she was a little bit rushed because I was trying to finish her before Comic Palooza, so I didn't really secure the mouth on very well, and so her mouth actually fell off, or it broke off at Comic Palooza. And then the inside is just full of foam to hit my head just the way I want it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put her on today because, you know, I got my hair all done and everything, but. I'll show a picture of what it looked like on, and besides the fact that the mouth fell off, this looked really freaking good on. She is made out of mostly paper mache and a little bit of plaster, and I think she took about two weeks to make when I was working on it like every single day just about. So yeah, I want to go ahead and tell you how I made it, and I have pictures that I can pop up on the screen. So I'm going to look at the pictures on my computer that's down beneath me, so that's why I'm going to be looking kind of downward sometimes. I think I'm just going to prop her up right here as I'm doing this. So to start off, I basically made a head of her. Um, I used a foam head, which was a bad idea, but I used a foam head, and then I built a uh, Argonian lizard head around it, just out of like newspaper and tape. And this picture, I basically just covered the whole thing in foil, and I just, I, I was trying to see if it would fit my head right, if it was big enough, if it was wide enough, and if it looked appropriate for my body. Unfortunately, I kind of have a big head compared to my body, so like, when I put the head on, it did look a little big for the rest of my body, but there wasn't really anything I could do about it, because I do have a naturally big head for my body type, so. And then I just put some foil, like, details on the head, so for the parts around, you know, the eyebrows and the nose and around here, I just, like, put little tubes of aluminum foil just to make the basic shape. And then I just secured it by putting some tape on top of it just to keep it still. And then that's when I started putting on the paper mache. So uh, if you don't know what it is, it's just like water and flour. You can put some other ingredients if you want. And then you use just any kind of paper. I used newspaper. Uh, you, you know, covered it with the paste and then you just put it all over the head. And I did several layers of just that. You definitely want to layer up your paper mache. You don't want to just do one layer because it'll be just ultra thin. You know, it'll just be like regular paper. But if you layer it and layer it and layer it, it'll start getting a lot thicker. Okay, so this was interesting. So I decided to make the paper mache paste and then instead of using newspaper, I just grinded up a bunch of toilet paper and I stuck it in there stirred it all up and everything and then when I put it all over the head let me see if I can find a good spot here you can see it has this like rough leathery texture and you can't really see it but on the top in the photo you can see it quite well it looks kind of like it has a scaly texture so I thought it looked really nice so I was like okay yes I'm gonna do this so that her skin doesn't look, you know, perfectly smooth. I want it to look like a real lizard. All right, and then I just took an X-Acto knife and I cut around her mouth like I did in the picture. So I just cut this part out and then there's the mouth there. All right, real quick, I want to show you why the mouth doesn't fit anymore. It's because I, well, I wanted to secure it better because if you can see, I didn't quite finish it because I was you know, I was um, running out of time for Comic Palooza and I just never bothered to finish it because it broke off anyway. But this is what it looks like when I don't like seal the edges. It's like you can see all the paper mache on the end. 
So what I did was I covered it with plaster, which was a really bad idea because when I did it, it completely changed the shape of the mouth. So that's why it doesn't fit onto the head anymore. Sorry if sometimes I'm like looking over here is because I'm looking at myself instead of the actual camera part. So sorry if in all my videos if uh, my eye contact's a little bit off. Okay, now you can see the head without the mouth. All right, now taking all the junk out from the head was an absolute nightmare. That's why I said the foam head was a bad idea because I just, I struggled so much trying to take that thing out. But eventually I got it out and I, I had to like basically cut the head open a bit and then I had to pull out all of the paper and the tape and everything. It was a lot of work. That was probably the hardest thing about this whole project. Okay, this is what the inside looked like. You can see it's like very disgusting looking, but I ended up sealing that whole part with plaster, which I probably shouldn't have done because the plaster makes this a lot heavier than it needs to be. I probably could have just coated it with, you know, a sealant and then painted it and it would have looked fine. So then I cut out the eyes. So I marked where I wanted to put the glass eyes. This is just like a, a marble slab, but uh, I marked where I wanted to cut the eye holes for me so I could see. And for Comet Palooza, I put a black mesh underneath it, but I don't think that was needed because you can't really see what's inside there, especially from a distance. And with the black mesh, it's just harder for me to see. So I think I ended up taking it off. I don't remember. And then I marked all of the scales with the pencil. I just wanted to mark where I was going to place the scales. I copied the exact pattern from the Skyrim Argonians. I mean, as best to my ability. And then here you can see what it looks like when I've got all of the scales on. So I made the scales out of plaster because it's easier to mold plaster than it is to mold paper mache. Um, I probably could have made a paper mache clay. So it would have been, it would have been, I guess, clay mache. It's basically paper mache, but it's like a clayish uh, texture. But I didn't know to do that at the time, so I just used plaster. And it worked out really nicely because plaster, you can, you can fold it and it, it's like a nice, smooth texture. So. so you can see all of the detailing in the scales. I probably could have painted it a little bit better to make the scales pop out more, but from close up, you can still see all the scales quite nicely. Oh, this is the fabric I used for the tail. I totally forgot about the tail. So I made a tail to go with it too. And um, what I did was I basically just cut out this fabric of the tail and then I sewed it together and I stuffed it with cotton. And then I just hooked it up with a little safety pin and I just clipped it to my butt. And then that was the tail. I'm gonna go look for the tail real quick. Sorry guys, I can't find it anywhere, but it was nothing impressive. Just imagine it in this fabric painted just like this, and that's what the tail looked like. And then I spray painted this whole thing, like this creamy color, and then I spray painted the black on the eyes, just to make it kind of match my Argonian, and then a little bit of like this brownish, blackish, thing around here and then some white sprinkled right here i i tried to spray the inside of her nostrils black and then some of it kind of leaked out but i didn't bother to fix it so this is what i looked like at comic palooza people kept thinking that i was a snake girl oh yeah i wanted to add horns somewhere along the way but i just i didn't know how to connect it now i probably could but um at that point i was just like you know i was in a rush i was just trying to finish this by comic palooza and i literally finished it the night before so yeah that's why i don't have the horns on although i really wanted to add the horns and i wasn't as artistically capable at the time you would think i was because this looks pretty good but i didn't know how to attach horns separately because i didn't sculpt the horns on originally and i didn't know how to sculpt more and then attach it i didn't know like the best way to like i don't know i didn't know how to attach it so that on top of being rushed wasn't a good combo, so. Yeah, I wanted to do more with my costume, but like I said, I was rushed. I was more focused on the head itself. Oh, if you wanna know how I made the eyes the way they are, I basically just took the glass marble and I turned it upside down and I painted on the bottom part and then that's it. 
and I glued them in. But yeah, this is Dry Scales. I'm super proud of making her. I think she looks fantastic for like my first big sculpture that I've made. I've made more that I would like to show you in a different video. Not more of this, but I've made a couple more art dolls and stuff. So I'll probably show you my art dolls in like a week or so. Yeah, I just wanted to show you my Argonian head since I didn't make a video of her back when I made her. I've posted pictures of her a lot on social media, so you might have seen her already, but most of you are kind of new to my channel, so you probably haven't. Unless you're not even a subscriber at all, in that case, welcome. But yeah, that's basically it. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I make gaming videos, I make crafting videos, LARP cosplay videos, basically anything that's related to fantasy, I'll do it. So if you really like fantasy, please consider subscribing. And thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video.